Amazing Rich, former Speaker of the House and a Fox News contributor. We also want to mention author of a new book, Treason, which, as I was looking up, Speaker Gingrich, is a fiction. But uh, in, the, in the description <clears throat> on Amazon.com, it says this. Treason is a story of a nation fighting for its life, not only against outside threats, but also against an internal threat. Now, in this case, it's terrorism in your book. But that's what Jill Stein says. She, she doesn't want an internal threat. That's what she's saying. That's what she's fighting. What's your take? <laughs> Well, let me say also that, that tragically, uh, the killing, uh, or, the, or rather the knifings at Ohio State resemble part of what we have uh, in treason, which does deal with international efforts by Islamic supremacists. Uh, I, I would say that Jill Stein represents sort of the nut wing of American politics. Uh, notice that there is not a single state in the country, not one, where a recount would allow her to win. I mean, she got so few votes everywhere that is, there's not a single state where she's in contention. You know, she'd be lucky to get into third place in a couple okay, of places. Okay, but she says that's not her priority. She's not doing it so that she could win. She's saying that the priority is not the smooth transition of power. I wanted to ask you about that. We just heard her say that. It's not the smooth transition of power, but looking at whether there's a systemic issue. Well, I think it's perfectly appropriate to look at whether there's a systemic issue. Uh, the Obama White House, hardly a friend of Donald Trump, has said there's not. Uh, the state of Wisconsin's voting uh, system has said there's not. Uh, I think Pennsylvania has a lot of paper ballots. Uh, so you have to think, you know, what, what did the Russians come over and manually ballot, uh, put in paper ballots? I mean, I'm just suggesting to you, when, when the left loses as badly as they have, at every level, from, from local state legislature to governor to Congress to the presidency, you begin to get the sort of nut friend showing up. The fact that Hillary's people are associating with her, I think, tells you how desperate and how disoriented Hillary's campaign has become. Uh, and the whole thing is a joke. It's an expensive joke. It'll cost the taxpayers some money, but it's a joke. It's, there's nothing serious about this, except, of course, it generates news coverage and with 24-hour right. news cycles, it well, uh, gives you something to talk about. Can you